That'll be me. <laughs> <laughs> what can I say? <laughs> um, I'm good at finishing. So, um, <laughs> Dr. Andrew Kelso uh, recently made waves because what did he do as a consultant neurologist? Uh, he wrote in a blog, an NHS blog, that, hey guys, Easter's coming up. And you know those lovely big eggs that you like? Don't eat them all at once. Have a lovely Easter. Goodbye. And the backlash that this man has received on social media has turned the milk chocolate very sour. What I find amazing is that some people are like, hey, we've got to save the NHS. And yet they refuse to even just save the last half of the Kit Kat for later. So I've come up with a little uh, trivia question for our debate and you can play along at home. So gentlemen, please reveal your numbers to the cameras. Now, for everyone to see, the first part of our little uh, quiz, and, and you can play along at home. How many calories is in this egg? And it's one of these and numbers. And it's one of these numbers. So, go. I reckon it's 790. Not just because I'm holding it, because that is actually what I think. This is a hollow chocolate egg. It's completely hollow. hollow. See Charlie's yeah. mm, Do you want yeah. to feel Sorry, the weight? 440. It's not that low. So my no. I think it's 790. I think it's 790. But if I were to go with another one, I'd say 970. Wow, so you've all gone quite... Uh, OK, brilliant. Well, can I just say, first of all, you all got it beautifully right, which is oh, quite... Oh, good. <laughs> right. But can you guess... All right, then. Next question. So oh, you're yeah. that one. OK. How many calories is this? It's a burger with two burger patties, bacon on top and cheese. Oh, it looks delicious. I wish you'd actually bought a that's, real one in because uh, I'd eat... That's definitely 1,500. Yeah. Yes, I reckon yeah. it's that one. OK. Darren's one. Are we, are, we, are we ready? Are we happy? Yes. I don't even know what I've got. One five. One it is nine. actually 400. <gasps> no. So can we now please just compare? We have the burger at yeah. 440 and the, the egg. egg at 790. Do we still ah. think that the doctor was wrong? You're definitely a secondary school yes. teacher. <laughs> <laughs> now, I'm shocked that the yes. burger is so much more calorific than this hollow egg. So less calorific, darling. It's less. Yes, sorry, so that's less right. Calorific. A double patty as well. A double patty as well, you say. Yes. With bacon and cheese. Yes. <laughs> now, if we added the sweet. Sweets. These are sugar nice sweets that came with the egg. If we are added, they skittles? Uh, they are sweets that are available. Many are available. Oh. And um, <laughs> if they were available uh, to eat, what would, if you ate the egg and the oh. sweets, what would we go to? What's 970, 70, surely. Oh, right. Yeah. Because yeah. sweets aren't actually that calorific. So well, I mean, they are if you eat enough of them. There's only mm. about five in there. Yeah. <laughs> you Is could, that correct? Which means that you are left holding the daily calorie requirements of for children. a seven-year-old oh, child. So, so when nice. we look at it, we've actually, if you ate that whole egg in one go and you're a seven-year-old child, you've eaten half your calorie allowance. And it's 1649 for a boy. And 1530 right. for a girl because... So where's you know, 1590 come from? Because I added them together oh, and then I came see. up with a binary <laughs> child oh, or a non-binary no, child. Yeah, yeah, I came up with a mystical child. So there we go. <laughs> don't, get, don't get Darren started on trans children. So, <laughs> there's no such thing. I mean, I think that's a really powerful Thank way of mm. pointing it out. Because, of course, yes. my first instinct, having eaten an Easter egg, more than just on well Easter for, for a long time, right? <laughs> Was that, you know, it's such a normal thing, it's such a casual thing to eat. I don't really think about eating an Easter egg, certainly not this weekend. But actually that, maybe he does have a point, that that is actually an incredible amount of but sugar But it's one day of the year, Benjamin Butterworth. Mm. Why are we being oh. so miserable? That's almost like saying, oh, don't open your presents on Christmas because no. otherwise you won't feel thankful for anything else you get for the rest of the year. No, I have another argument to that because of the sugar content inside I just want to eat the egg. Now, you see, sugar <laughs> is composed, when it's granulated sugar, it's composed of 50% fructose and 50% glucose. Your liver cannot stop absorbing fructose, which means that you are more likely to get a fatty liver. Now, this We're doctor... What did you call me? Yeah. Yes, because it just honest, keeps pumping into your system. Yeah. <laughs> My point is, is that I'm not mean? saying don't enjoy Which Easter. <laughs> I'm saying... Make Easter last longer. Ah. Just make Easter last longer. Just have... So, like... who, can I ask a question then to the yeah. panel? Mm -hmm. Who has ever had, say, a chocolate bar, like a sort of big, bigger one, you know, and I'm not talking a little 
The and ones they ironically call sharing packs exactly. or family. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah. A sharing pack of chocolate. <laughs> Who's ever had one of those and then left a little bit for later? <laughs> Never. I mean, I know, but I don't really have the sharing packets of crisps. You know, there's massive packets of crisps. And I'll just eat the whole thing. Mm. And it always says, oh, this serves five. <laughs> And then I finish it, and I'm like, well, that's just re a really unhelpful piece of information. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that's because you're always running around yelling at people. Like, well, maybe that's why. But I mean, you, the thing I feel is... Like you can eat what you like if you go to the gym. I think mm. one of the problems is that sugar is really addictive. Yes. And I am definitely addicted to sugar. I get the shakes if I haven't had it. I get... Yeah, I do. I, I get it really badly. I eat a I lot. Think that's the sugar. I eat a lot. That's my age. <laughs> I eat a lot of sugar. Yeah. And I find it. I did a program about a year and a half ago uh, where I went vegan, and part of it was that I came off all the sugar. Mm. Now I literally fainted a couple of times in the first week. That was how bad my withdrawal from sugar was. Wow. But I felt fantastic a couple of weeks later. Now eventually I discovered fried chicken and, and chocolate again and, and returned to my old <laughs> ways. But I think. You know, sugar can really damage you, but because mm. it's such a cultural norm, we've we've kind of ignored the reality. I think we just have a lot of portion distortion. And that's what Dr. Andrew Kelso was trying to point <laughs> out. He was trying to point out to us that although, like, the egg is hollow and you think it's not very much because it's hollow and it's so light, um, mm. you've got to just be aware that if you're also having breakfast, lunch and dinner and then you're giving that to a little child, no wonder there's 300 kids running through a shopping mall in Milton Keynes. Mm. If they've all had one of these, they'll be going for hours. But that's when you, you know that eating as much sugar as you do is bad but you still do it despite the advice. So what's mm. the point in the advice if no-one listens? Well, the advice All is important, right. mm. but can I just say, I get annoyed if the Easter egg doesn't have something inside it. You know, right. like... Okay, okay, okay. I'm, okay. I'm very careful what still, I put in my mouth. Uh, 